Again, that is 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 1 through 15. Amen. When you have it, all those who are able to stand, please stand with me. And it reads, 2 Corinthians chapter 11, starting at verse 1. I hope you will put up with me, uh, put up with a little of my foolishness. But you are already doing that. I am jealous for you with a godly jealousy. I promised you to one husband, to Christ, mm -hmm. so that I might present you as a pure virgin to him. Mm -hmm. But I am afraid just as Eve was deceived by the serpent's cunning, your minds may somehow be led astray from your sincere and pure devotion to Christ. For if someone comes to you and preaches a Jesus other than the Jesus we preach, or if you receive a different spirit from the one you receive, or a different gospel from, uh, from the one you accepted, you put up with it easily enough. But I do not think I am in least to those super apostles. Oh my goodness. I may not be trained, I may not be a trained speaker, but I do have knowledge. Mm -hmm. We have made this perfectly clear to you in every way. Was it a sin for me to lower myself in order to elevate you by preaching the gospel of God to you free of charge? Mm. I robbed other churches by receiving support from them so as to serve you. And when I was with you and needed something, I was not a burden to anyone. For the brothers who came from Macedonia supplied what I needed. I have kept myself from being a burden to you in any way. And I will continue to do so. As surely as the truth of Christ is in me. Nobody in, this, in the regions of Acadia will stop this boasting of mine. Why? Because I do not love you? God knows I do. And I will keep on doing what I am doing in order to cut the ground from under those who want an opportunity to be considered equal with us in the things they boast about. For such men are false apostles, mm -hmm. deceitful workmen, mm -hmm. masquerading as apostles of Christ. Mm -hmm. And no wonder, for Satan himself masquerades as an angel of light. Mm -hmm. It is not surprising then if his servants masquerades as servants of righteousness, their end will be what their actions deserve. You may be seated. Preach, Pastor Cancer. To conclude this three-part series of the ideology of Lucifer, I would like to title this part three, The Masquerade Ball. Mm. Mm. Masquerade Ball. For the past two weeks, we have been talking about this ideology of, of Lucifer. Ideology is an idea or an opinion uh, on matters of, of politics and a way of life that one will adopt or accept uh, into their own regime of how they would walk, talk, and live their life. Uh -huh. Amen. The ideologies are influential in what they say and what they do and how they interact with people. Uh, we realize for the past two weeks, we were talking about this ideology of Lucifer, that Lucifer himself is not omnipresent, and he is not all-powerful. But the fact of the matter is, is that Lucifer's ideas and opinions and beliefs have been spread throughout the minds and hearts of men and women and boys and girls uh -huh. to make it appear that he is bigger and greater and better than what he really is. Mm. All right. The fact of the matter is, we have to take back our, our power that God has given us. Amen. We have to cleanse our minds and our hearts. Yeah. And we cannot allow the devil to have a foothold or a position or a place in our lives. All right. yeah. That means in the schoolhouse. That means in the workplace. That means in our families. That means in our, any of our relationships that we cannot give uh, 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 the devil uh, any ground. All right. Amen. We come to part three of this mini-series that the Holy Spirit just wanted me to get out. I want y'all to understand yeah. that, that it's very, very difficult to talk about 
uh, uh, this ideology of Lucifer because a lot of times people think that they are so uh, astute and they are so knowledgeable and they're so much of a philosopher that they spend their own ideas and opinions of who God is and what God wants to be done. But God doesn't need our help and he doesn't need our opinion. He is telling us clearly in the word of God what he wants us to do. All right. How he wants us to conduct ourselves. How we should treat one another and how we should be. But we always want to add extra addendums to the contract. Mm -hmm. We always want to add extra scriptures to the Bible mm -hmm. and then we want to put a little twist on it and tell, tell the Bible and tell everybody else well I think and I believe God wants me to do this when God is clearly speaking volumes his, his, his word is unchanging and he is saying to us this is what I want you to do to obey the will of God yes uh -huh. that's it mm -hmm. right. and anytime anytime you have trouble understanding if it's the Holy Spirit speaking to you or not, you have to ask yourself, is this for the glorifying and edification of God? And if it is not glorifying and edifying God, if it's not loving your brothers and sisters, if it is not conducive to your family, if it has, if it has negative ramifications on everybody else but you, All right. then you have, to, you have to really recognize and really realize that is an ideology of Lucifer. Mm -hmm. right. Selfishness. Idolatry. Wrongdoing and sin. Here in the biblical text, as we come to 2 Corinthians, Teach. Paul is addressing the Corinthian church. He has to address them because he has to deal with the idea that they are, are, are tampering with his credentials to preach and teach the word of God. Mm, that's it. I want you to know when you always talk in truth, people always want to find a blemish or a chink in your armor when you are talking about truth. Amen. Amen. Because the fact of the matter is whether they say the truth hurts sometimes. That's it. Yeah. The truth hurts sometimes, and, and the truth has a way of, 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 of shedding light on things. And a lot of people are comfortable with being in darkness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not everybody wants to come to the light. I, I want you to understand something. Like that. Something that I used to do when I was, I was a young man in college or even in high school. It was hard getting up in the morning. Uh -huh. Depending on what I did in the nighttime. Uh -huh. Seems like in the nighttime, we got so much energy to do so much mess. Right. I mean, we don't even get ready a lot of times for the party and, and, and until the sun goes down. Uh -huh. see, see, some of us don't even want to get ready in daylight. Uh -huh. We say we don't want to get there early. We don't want to be the first ones there. As a matter of fact, some of y'all want to start curling your hair on your party days, not your save days now. Uh -huh. You didn't even start getting ready until about 9, 10 o'clock at night. Uh -huh. All right. You stepped up in the sink at midnight, and then you only went home because you knew what? The sun was coming up. Yeah. Hey. That's what you did. That's what you did. Yeah, and you're unsaved. Like, I'm not saying that right uh -huh. now. I didn't say you did that last night. But that's what y'all did. Uh -huh. And the fact of the matter is, got in that bed, yeah. cut the lights off, shut the blinds down, put the covers over your face. And when morning came, when it came time for school, when it came time for church, all right. When the lights flickered on and, 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 and when people pulled the covers off of you, you were squirming and you were singeing and you were mad and angry wanting to cut the lights back off and pull the covers and the pillow over your face. Why would you do that? Because your eyes was burning because it was not ready for the light just yet. Yes. All right. Uh -huh. yes. Yes. See, your mind and your body and your heart, it was used and it was, and it was, and it was modified for darkness mm -hmm. and now the light is intruding on, 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 on your darkness right now. Mm -hmm. And here in the biblical text, Paul has to shed some light on yeah. the Corinthians in the midst of their darkness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's hard getting up. It's hard getting up. Not only is it hard getting up, but it's hard to open in your eyes when it's time to deal with the light. That's it. Some of us, some of us, some of us, when we, when we, when we open our eyes, our eyes have to adjust. To the light. Mm -hmm. I want you to know your eyes adjust to the light just like it adjusts to darkness. Our spiritual eye adjusts to the light just like it adjusts to darkness Amen. right now. Amen. And some of us, our eyes are adjusted to darkness. Amen. Mm -hmm. Say it. Paul is talking to these false apostles right here because they are preaching and teaching a gospel that is contrary to the Jesus that they were sharing about. Mm -hmm. The Jesus Christ that died for their sins. The Jesus Christ.
They came from a born of a virgin Mary, came down here with love and came down here with humility, came down here not seeking status or political office, All but right. came down here so we might have life and have it more abundantly, yes. came down here to reconcile us with the Father God, yes. came down here so we not be bound by uh, 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 being legalized by what the Pharisees are saying. Jesus came down here to set us free. Yes, yes. Us. yes. 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 To preach deliverance into the captives, to recover a sight to the blind, to set at liberty to them that are bruised. He came to heal us, y'all. Yes, he came he to clean us up. Yes, but is. somehow or another, some jokers with an ideology like Lucifer yes, sir. Uh -huh. came preaching a gospel that was contrary to what Paul had taught them. Mm -hmm. I want you to realize, church, that we got a lot of schemers that are looking like that they are of God, but they're not of God. Amen. Amen. We got a lot of one-trick ponies. We got a lot of people who speak very eloquently, but they are masquerading as if they are a part of the kingdom of God and part of God's family, but really not. Amen. Amen. Paul had to address this. He said, it is foolish for him to even have to back up his credentials. Mm. I want you to understand something. It's always funny that people who are talking truth have to back themselves up. But somebody who's flashy, let me let me tell you what y'all do, church. All somebody right. who'll come in and sing a good song for y'all. Yes. Somebody who'll come in and dance for y'all. Somebody who will come and entertain y'all. Y'all don't ask their credentials. As a matter of fact, some of y'all are getting so comfortable that people are coming up preaching to y'all. And they don't got a Bible in their hands. Say it! And y'all ain't asked where they went to theology school. Y'all ain't asked what, 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 what is the substance of what they're saying. Okay. They're shutting and jiving. And y'all are comfortable with being entertained. Amen. Matter of fact, y'all come to church like it's BET. And all y'all want to do is be entertained. That's it. Oh, Preach, uh, Preach. Yeah. Preach. Yeah. Paul said, yeah. Paul said it's foolish that I even have to go across with my credentials. Here I come with a humbleness, with a sense of love, and then you have the nerve to accuse me. The fact of the matter is, y'all have the nerve to, 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 to question sometimes your local preachers and teachers who love you, who go to the hospital when you're sick, no, who have right. seen you on your worst days, yeah. who pray with you and held yeah. your hands. But when a certain somebody come in here with a bestseller, Tell you to come down here and sow a seed hey. for a hundred dollars and they'll pray for you. Y'all don't ask no questions. No Paul said it's foolish that he has to go through this thing. Yeah. Oh, how dare you question men and women of God, but you won't question these Lucifers that are running around here masquerading like they believe in Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. What do I mean by that? What do I mean by that? I have to break it down for you because some of y'all don't believe in the masquerade that's going on right now. Uh -huh. The masquerade in the early 2000s. How many of y'all remember the sowing of the seed and the prosperity movement? Uh -huh. Oh, you black folks remember y'all shucking and jiving on that sowing of the seed. Your preachers and teachers told y'all if you sow a seed of $50, he's going to double and triple it for y'all. And y'all came running down the center aisle with $50 of uh -huh. sowing the seed. And some of y'all, don't y'all remember that movement? But they said, look, if you sow this seed right now, and some of y'all was sowing hundred dollar and thousand dollar seeds, didn't even know what thus said the Lord about sowing the seed. You just knew that you was gonna play the lottery with God. That's what y'all was doing. Y'all was talking about if I put fifty on God right now, God's gonna give me five thousand dollars. And y'all let, and I'm going to call their names out, y'all let Juanita Bynum, y'all let T.D. Jakes, y'all let Creflo Dollar, Masquerade, take all y'all money because y'all wanted to sow some seeds. Uh. I know this is going to get on the internet and they don't want to hear that, but the fact of the matter is nobody questioned the biblical credentials of what does it mean to put a dollar amount down when I haven't put my heart down for Jesus Christ. Yeah. Into getting money back uh, when I can't walk it, I can't talk uh, it. I'm dealing with cancer, I'm yes. dealing with way with children, and I have unforgiveness in my heart. But shall was so it seems. Yeah. 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 All yeah. right, yeah. this part, yeah. but it's right. Yeah. Yeah. All this is this ideology of Lucifer that y'all are caught up in and wonder why the community is in the state that it's in because y'all doing movements like this. This is what Paul was talking about right here. Paul's rockets. What is another movement that y'all are dealing with? We're dealing with right now the movement of the nons. And the movement of the nons right now, they have classified it with a name right now. That's 
this movement where people, uh, their knives were their nine goers of church, uh -huh. but they still believe that they have a connection with God. Uh -huh. But I want you to understand what it says in the Bible in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25. It says, let us not give up meeting together, uh -huh. as some of you are in the habit of doing, but let us encourage one another, yes. and all the more as you see the day approaching, and day is capitalized, meaning the day when Jesus Christ comes. That means as Jesus comes closer, don't you stop the fellowship with the saints. Mm -hmm. Don't you think for one second you don't need to come into church. Some of y'all get beat up at work. Some of y'all get beat up at home. Where do you think you're going to get your energy? In the place where you rest your head, you get beat up. In the place where you make your money, you yeah, get beat up. Yeah. You need to come to God's yeah. house and get a refill. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Tell it. Yeah. Oh, what you let the, 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 the ideologies of Lucifer take you out of the fellowship of the kingdom of God. All right. Paul said, y'all have the nerve to be flattered by the super apostles. Uh, uh. Oh, oh, I know I'm getting touchy right here. But why is it, why is it man has to always elevate himself more and more? Isn't it just enough to preach the word of God? And why does it seem like you have to grandstand all the time? Don't you realize when you come in with truth that the glory and the presence of the Lord is all around you? Yeah. You're glowing and you're shining and you're moving all about. It almost Pretty seems totally like totally. you're hovering. Pretty and if totally nobody totally. knew your name, right. they knew Pretty you had totally. the anointing yeah. on you. Yeah. 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 He said, y'all yeah. yeah. are yeah. so into those super yeah. apostles. Yeah. Somebody that wrote a whole bunch of books. And don't get me wrong, it's no problem with writing a whole bunch of books. There is no problem even with those men or women who take care of the kingdom of God with prosperity. But there is a problem when you see the worldly things happening and you have a dollar amount on the integrity and the sincerity that of is. the gospel of Christ. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. That's the truth. Amen. Paul is saying that this ideology of Lucifer right here, they're compromising the Jesus that we taught you about. Yeah. That ain't the same Jesus that the super apostles are giving you. That Jesus right there that they're giving you is about flash. That's Jesus they're giving you is about shucking and jiving and dancing all the time. When will you realize that no longer that you want to be entertained? I don't want to be entertained, but I want to get inside and obtain salvation. Yeah. Oh, right. Amen. That's, that's it. That's yeah. it. That's good. That's word. Paul, Paul, Paul had to tell him right here that, 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 that you played me for a sucker and a chump just because I didn't charge you for the good news of God. Mm. That's what it says in the Bible right here. He said, he said, he said, in verse 7, <laughs> was it a sin for me to lower myself in order to elevate you by preaching the gospel of God to you for free of charge? I want you to understand something that Jesus already told them in the gospel that the worker deserves his wage. Yes, so I don't want you to think that the man or woman of God shouldn't be blessed. But the fact of the matter is, just because there's not a large amount of sum, some preachers and teachers, don't come to your church unless y'all from a thousand, five thousand, ten thousand dollars. That's it. Oh, it's big business going on oh, here. Oh yes, yes. Say and the it. business ain't saving souls. The business is lining up a lot of pockets. Some folks won't give you a word unless you give them some money. Amen. Oh, oh, oh. Tell it. Oh, it's the truth. Paul said. It's Paul said. Truth. I'm not masquerading around here. He said, for the fact of the matter is, just to show you, I'm on the up and up. My brothers in Macedonia had blessed me, and I took the blessings from Macedonia. Instead of staying in Macedonia, Damn instead of traveling to Macedonia, Damn I came here on their money, on their time, to give you the truth. Damn so it. you can be rich. So you can yeah. be blessed. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah. Sowing yeah. a seed right there. Yeah. That's, That's it. That's it. Sowing that yeah. spiritual seed That's that it might grow. That the Holy Spirit will water it down on the inside of you. And that you will flourish and you will spread that to somebody yeah. else. Yeah. Don't look about how somebody can bless you financially. Don't you realize that God is implanting you a seed yes. and it's going to grow inside yes. of you and you're going to plant something to somebody else yes. and God and the Holy Spirit is going to water that thing to yes. somebody else yes. and we're going to have a whole field and a That's whole it. garden yes. of grace it. and mercy and salvation. That's it. Love. Stacy Adams shoes and the fact of the matter is when they have big rings on their hands and when they come in with the nice suits that that must be the good preacher. 
My God. <laughs> Paul had to let him know mm -hmm. that you're being deceived just like Eve was yeah. deceived in the garden uh -huh. by the serpent. Yeah. I want you to understand that because you don't want to take the time to actually study your Bible. That's it. To really see what God says Tell about what man says. So that was the problem with Eve. Eve got it just a little bit twisted. She said that God said that you can't touch it or eat it. Mm -hmm. God just said you just can't eat it. He didn't say nothing about touching. Uh -huh. And when your truth is distorted, when you distort the truth of God, uh -huh. Uh -huh. when you distort the truth of God in the least little bit, uh -huh. you are giving the enemy a positioning in your mind and in your heart. Yeah. Uh -huh. Paul said, you know, I love you. If I didn't love you, I wouldn't be here. Yes. He said, you know, I love you because if I didn't love you, I wouldn't be telling you this truth. Uh -huh. He said, these false men, yes. the prophets, the, 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 the false apostles, the false prophets, they're deceitful workmen. How many of y'all realize that there are people who don't have a pure and sincere heart when they preach and teach the word of God to you? Mm -hmm. Amen. What you understand, yes, when you love one another, that's it. When you help one another, That's it. don't you know that you helping and blessing one another and each other? That person you might have blessed didn't have no money mm -hmm. or didn't have no food. And when you don't have no money or when you don't have no food, that same person that you helped out yesterday will help you out today. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you realize in a community and a body of believers, if you really care about one another, there shouldn't be anybody in the house of God that should be in need. That's we it. should be a community. That's and other folks don't have jobs. How dare you know they're hiring at your job and if you somebody at church needs a job. Amen. Tell it, Amen. Tell it. These super apostles and these false people have you so individualized and so separated that you feel like you don't want to help nobody so they'll be on the same level as you. Mm -hmm. Just like crawdads pulling each other down. Man. Don't you realize when you help somebody up and you just so happens to slip and fall that they got a hand to reach down to pick you up as well as yeah. a brother or sister in Christ? Yeah. That's it. You have a brother or sister who needs some help and you can't give them a text message or you can't give them some insight yes. or sit down and write a resume with them or sit there and say brother or sister do you need gas money because they need gas money today and tomorrow you might not know what you might need. That's, yes. Yes. That's, right. That's, right. That's, right. That's right. That's right. That's right. He said for such men apostle apostles deceitful workers masquerading as apostles of Christ. And he said, no wonder for Satan himself masquerades as an angel of light. You have to understand what a masquerade is. Mm. A masquerade is a false show of pretense. Mm -hmm. It pretends to be someone or something that you're not. Mm -hmm. A masquerade ball was extended uh, as a costume party or festival in the 15th and 16th century in the Renaissance period. Mm. The thing about a masquerade ball, it is so elaborate. And I want you to realize Sometimes we get so caught up in the elaborate scheme of the masquerade mm -hmm. that we forget that it's not, it's not real. I want you to realize that sometimes the enemy has your mind and your heart so twisted in the pageantry and how beautiful it looks that you don't even realize that it's not real. Yeah. And I want you to see that the enemy is showing you a hologram, that he is showing you a mirage, and it looks good, and everything is dancing around, but I want you to know one thing, that it's not, not real. real. Yeah. Uh -huh. it's, it's pretending to be something that it's not. The devil is pretending to be light, but he is really darkness. Yeah. And you have to understand the difference between light and darkness. Some of us are so comfortable with darkness that we think that it's always supposed to be dark. I remember, I remember my younger days in the party days. Y'all remember them high school parties right. in the basement? Y'all yeah. remember those parties in the house? house and, and, and it had to be dark, y'all, before y'all could dance. Yeah. And it had to be dark for it to be comfortable because you didn't want to dance and, and, and you didn't want to back on nobody until the lights went out. And just the party wasn't right until the lights went out. And everybody was comfortable when the lights went out. But heaven forbid if somebody cut the lights off in the basement. Everything stopped. Nobody wanted to dance anymore and everyone was uncomfortable. I want you to realize you need to know what you're looking at and what you're talking to. If anything, we should have been happy when the lights came. Oh. Yes. Now we can see some things. Yes. Now we can move about. Yes. Now we can dance without talking to each other. But some of y'all are just so comfortable with the darkness thinking it is light. Mm. Mm. Goodness. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Paul, Paul, 
Paul, Paul, Paul had to tell him that Satan is masquerading mm -hmm. as an angel of light. Mm -hmm. Angel of light. He's masquerading as if he is telling the truth. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's masquerading as if he's your friend. Mm -hmm. He's masquerading as if yes. he loves you. Mm -hmm. He's masquerading as yes. if he has your best intentions yes. at heart. Yeah. And I want you to realize That's some of y'all got to say enough is enough. enough, is enough. Some of y'all got to cut the lights yes. off. Yes. And some of y'all got to start cut ripping that off. mask of Lucifer and realize and point to him for the devil who he really is. Yes. 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 Some of y'all, when y'all hear these false prophets and hear this false teaching, see the problem is right now, see everybody's at the masquerade ball, y'all. Yes. Uh -huh. Y'all want to go there. Y'all want to be there because everybody's there. Don't nobody want to be with the party with the lights on. Everybody wants to be at the party where it's dark. And everybody wants to jump in and be a part of something that really isn't real. Come on, somebody. The party's packed at the masquerade, yes, ball. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Folks yes, are getting is. dressed. Folks love pretending to be something they're really not. But I want you to realize that the Jesus that Paul is preaching and the gospel that he told them about, it is about truth. It's about light. It's yeah. about guidance. Yeah. It's about direction. Yeah. It's about liberty. Yeah. It's about setting you yeah. free. Yeah. It's about love. Yeah. It's about you will be financially yeah. blessed. Yeah. Brothers in Macedonia who you're not even there, they will give you what you need even when your surroundings will not. Yeah. Oh, Thank you. Yes. Paul ain't got to worry about the Corinthian people. Yeah. My brother's from way over yonder know what I need. Yeah. See, when you're real and when you're sincere, Folks will come from out of the woodwork to help you. Folks will come out of the woodwork to bless you. Because even from a distance, every ship can see the light tower in the midst of the sea. I want you to realize that God will send you somebody. And help is on the way. That even though it's dark right next to you, you are a light in the lighthouse. And if you let your light shine, there's an SOS when your light shines. And help is on the way. and about yes, love. God loves you so much that he gave his yes, only yes, God son yes, from yes. their own Calvary. Yes. There old God got the hill where yes. everybody spit on him when they talked about him. He said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. He said, into your hands I commend my spirit. They couldn't take his life. He had to surrender and give it away to us. And then they laid him in a bar too for three days and three nights. The earth shook. Don't you know when you are a light? Don't you know when you rip off the mask off the masquerade ball and expose the enemy for who he really is? The earth will start to shake. Everybody gets afraid when the earth starts to shake. You don't need a whole bunch of people to get this earth to shake it. You just need God behind you and he'll shake up the world. Everybody can believe in Jesus Christ, but Jesus has his father behind it. And his father shook up the world. Service of righteousness 
And their end will be what their actions deserve. Mm -hmm. I want you to know that you want to be on the other side of that party. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be a part of that masquerade ball. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be a part of that division and dissension. Mm -hmm. But you want to be with the one and true living God. Mm -hmm. You want to be with Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Not a manufactured Jesus that the world has tried to offer you. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Yes, he is. No one needs to modify or clarify anything what Jesus has said. Mm -hmm. For he has said and done all the things that we need to see. Yes. All the things that are written are right here in the word of God. Yes. Don't follow me. Hmm. But follow Christ. Yes, God. Yes, yes, Lord. Follow Christ. Yes, God. Follow God, the Holy Spirit, and our Lord and Savior, Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. Those who are not bearing that life. That's not the gospel, and that's not the truth. If you're here today, 